Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Kelly. Okay. A few things. All right, here's our face that we did in the last video with our mixed media background, very plain on Bristol paper. The video I'll link um, at the end of this video so you can click it if you didn't see it, uh, where we did a very easy mixed media background. Um, wasn't hard at all. And we drew a face. We drew two phases actually. Now, um, a lot of people, I got a lot of response from um, that video, which I'm thrilled about. Uh, a lot of new people on my channel, a lot of new people to mix media and drawing and all that kind of stuff. So I was very excited. So what I did was I uh, erased her hair, the other one that I drew, and I put her up on my website, which is knittingandthings.com. It'll be down in the description. Um, go there. You click on it. You can download it to your computer, save it to your computer, and then you can print it out as many times as you want. Practice to draw, practice uh, color, you know, painting her, coloring her. If you only have crayons, use crayons. It doesn't matter. I have my crayons sitting over there. But um, So that's the first thing I wanted to let you guys know. Um, and I'm so excited with all the messages and emails and I'm getting with everybody's pictures and stuff. It's so exciting. Okay. Now something else I want to talk about. I don't know if I should do it. In, maybe I'll do it in a different video because I want to show some ways to make different inexpensive sprays that you can get stuff from the dollar store. So maybe I'll talk, I'll do another video on that separately. So it'll be, uh, it'll be easier. All right. So we're going to paint her face and we know uh, funny, my, my stuff, I don't know how that all got there. We know that underneath of here, we have some sprays and stuff that are uh, going to lift. It's not a big deal. Um, we're just going to do a straight up face color. You can get, there's 3 million of them, different colors of face. Now this is from Ceramicote and it's called Santa's Flush. Let's see. Yeah. Um, I've used folk art they have portrait light and all kinds of different colors you just want a portrait color you know like face color or if you don't and you want to use something different go for it <laughs> make it crazy as you can see i erased her hair because i'm going to do that last and all i'm going to do you could pour this on your uh, palette or uh i have my craft mat behind me whatever you have it does not matter and then find a brush. I should have been, I did erase before I came on, but I didn't prepare, which those of you who watch me know that I'm not a preparer. What the heck happened to my, all my brushes? That's what happens. Okay. So you can see, I just poured some one there, whatever way you like to do it. And I'm not going to wet my brush. I'm going to stay try to stay off the lines the best I can. If you don't, it's no big deal. I'm just going to kind of follow my lines a little bit. You're still going to be able to see them underneath. So it's not a big deal. So you, you won't lose them once you draw them. Sometimes I erase them all together and then paint over it. But for this, I just want you guys to get a nice face drawn. And it painted. I know a lot of you have drawn already and are waiting to be able to paint. And it's so easy. This is not anything spectacular. We're not shading yet. We're not doing any of that. That'll, that'll come down the road. So I'm just going to kind of give her a flat head because we're going to put her hair on, but I just want to make sure. And you're not worrying about getting everything covered. If the color underneath comes through or like you could see right here, I went over her eyebrow. It doesn't matter. This is to have fun and be creative, not to worry that, I don't know, that stupid perfection shit. I hate that shit. I hate when I hear people talk about it. I'm not going to name names, but there was a video the other day of somebody that I follow on YouTube and they were talking about making things quick and easy. And, you know, she was kind of downing it in a sense. And that's fine. That's her opinion. And she, you know more popular than I and whatever, but, uh, I'm not all about fast and easy all the time. 
but as you can see this took how long to put this on and like I said I'm going to paint over her nose a little bit just because I know I'm going to go back in with whatever and draw on there but you can see we have our face painted um now I'm going to do a little bit on the neck but uh she was saying how fast and easy isn't always the best way and this and that and I'm like this this is how I feel about it um, I understand where she's coming from, but as you can see, we did the, this page and the two drawings in the last video, which was fairly quick. And I just painted her face very quick. And some of us either like me have many chronic illnesses or some of us work or, you know, and only get a night, you know, at night or weekends to do things and it's not about doing them fast but you know if you want to have fun and create and feel creative what does it hurt to just pick up a little speed to do something it doesn't it doesn't matter I don't necessarily necessarily think that's a bad thing I think it's wonderful if you have time to sit for three hours and do something I mean, you know, when I do clay or if I do my stuff in clay or make jewelry or whatever, sometimes it takes longer. It is sometimes, you know, you have time and you sit and do it, but I don't know. I just think if you like to be creative and you want to do something, but you only have a half hour to do it because that's all the time you can schedule in because of the kids or I know with school back and everybody's busy and people work and everything like that. So if you have a half hour, 45 minutes and you want to sit down and do a mixed media page, who cares how long it takes you to do it? If it takes you literally what, three minutes to paint the face that it, it, I don't know. I just, it just hit me the wrong way. I just think do whatever the hell you want to do. You don't need me or anybody else to tell you what the hell to do or to give you permission to do it. Just do it. That's what you got to remember. Okay, so now we're going to do the eyes. And I'm going to take a little bit of um, burnt sienna. And it can be any brown, like a light brown or I'll tell you what, I'll use this. Come here, come here, come here. All right, this is Country Twill. And it's by Folk Art. I use a lot of these paints. Everybody has their own school of thought on whatever. I just don't think you should take, I think, you know, you take little pieces from this one, that one, and do whatever the hell you want to do. I don't think, you know, if you only have a little bit of time and you want to create, then by all means, don't, you shouldn't be made to feel that, you know, you're not doing right or you're, or, you know, doing wrong by, maybe sitting down for a half hour and drawing or painting or whatever. And that's just my opinion, but I just hate that people get cornered. Like they get like pigeonholed in, in their head of perfection or things have to be this way or have to be that way. And then what happens is people won't do it because some people will think, well, it only, it's only, it only took me a half hour to do this painting. That, that can't be right. That can't be right. And it's okay. It's whatever you want. It's whatever you have time for. Not everybody has all the time in the world to, it's not their living. People do work and have families and sometimes only get that quick half hour. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this right here in the shade. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and kind of wipe it because I don't want too much of it. And I can always go back in. You can always go back in with your your uh, face color. Now, when you're doing this in your journal, if you're doing this in your journal or how I'm doing it, what you can do is you can take a separate piece of paper. I forget where I saw this on the internet. Somebody did it. Um, and write down the colors that you use. So, you know, like, oh, when you go back, you're like, I really like the way this went together, that went together. And then you know what colors that you're using. 
Then I'm going to do her eyebrows a little darker. But yeah, so I just wanted to say that because, like I said, I, I don't know. And I'm nobody. I'm nobody, so. You don't need to listen to me. I just don't get it. I'd rather do something than nothing. Now these are a little darker than the eyes. I'm just going you just do whatever way you want. Whatever way eyebrows want to be. It's whatever you want. So let's do, let me mix. I'm going to mix now this brown with this darker brown for a minute. But yeah, so I just wanted to say that. And it's no disrespect to the person that said it. I just don't agree with it. I think you do whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you feel good. And that gives us our little shadow there. And remember, you can go back later and clean it up if you want with the uh, face color. I'm just going to do a little bit because it's a little bit dark on the edge here of my paintbrush. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, this is called green gold. I've had this for years. So if you don't have a green gold or if you don't have, if you have like a regular green, but you have gold as well, mix them. If you mix it with blue, mix it with whatever color you want, a little bit of gold, just so it has a little shine. Remember, when you go by, if you're just starting out, you do your Roy G. Bibs, and uh, you can buy a iridescent color. I should have used a bigger brush. And then um, mix it. And then you'll have like some, you know, shimmery colors as well as your regular colors. And you'll see, just so easy to mix and to do. I, don't, I hate pouring this stuff out. So I take it off the lid. Should have used a bigger brush. And please don't write me any nasty comments about what I'm saying. It's just my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. I'm not of the whole school of, you know, you have to do everything perfect. And I mean, there's things I do that look like crap. I don't care. It, it's sometimes it's just fun doing it. Like I said, and if I only have, I've been so dang busy. We've been living at doctors and appointments and tests and everything else that, you know, if I only have a half hour and I want to accomplish something, or I want to just get some drawing in or painting in or whatever. And I only have a half hour, then that's what I do. Sometimes quick and easy is, is okay. Doesn't mean that you suck as an artist or you suck at what you do. It's about the journey there. In my opinion. Well, I could totally, <laughs> I don't know, be full of shit. I don't know. It's just how I roll. I guess if uh, we all have our own 
our own gig. You know what I'm saying? If you have the time and you're able to do it like that, more power to you. I think it's wonderful. If you don't, don't feel like you can't do it. I don't like to have rules <laughs> or to be made feel to made to be felt like, uh, you know, what I'm doing is wrong. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Although I, if you ask my husband and my daughter, I, I hardly ever feel that I'm wrong. So, <laughs> you know. I think I'm going to do the folk art fuchsia for her lips. That's a thick one. Needs a little thinning out there. Now, if you go, like I said, if you go on knittingandthings.com, my website, you will see that I put up the other face. I cut, I erased the hair off. So you can definitely download that, like I said, and print it out. It doesn't matter if it's on inkjet or whatever, just, now I find, I find that if I print, this is my experience. I've, I've said this a million times before in videos. If I print on cardstock, which you can get cardstock at Michael's, AC Moore, Joanne's, all the places, um, for, usually on sale for like $2.99, $2.50 or whatever. So I get a pack of cardstock, white cardstock. Uh, they also have thick stock, it's called. And I'll have to find my bag because I did buy a thing of it. Um, you can, uh, what I do is I print on that because with the inkjet, what happens is if you print it on that and you leave it dry, I don't know, five minutes or so, because the ink's going to soak into the paper. And you have a little bit more working time with the ink before it smears because obviously inkjet is not waterproof, but you can still get a good uh, painting on it. Now, when you use printer paper, which is completely fine, what happens is because the paper is so thin, it sits more on top of the paper. This is my what I find, what I do. I don't need nobody writing me, telling me any different. Um you know, a lot of my stuff works for a lot of you and a lot doesn't. I'm all about trying. But if you use a uh, printer paper, the ink seems to sit on top of the uh, paper, the printer paper itself, because it's not absorb that absorbent. It's very thin. And when it does that, then it's sitting. So when you go to rewet it uh, with, with paint or a spray or whatever, it's going to reactivate. When it's on the paper, cardstock or even Bristol paper, whatever you have, because this is very thick. I told you the spray didn't even go through. Um, it's going to print on there and it's going to soak in because it's a thicker paper. So it's not, like I said, you'll get a free pass on it once. Now you don't want to sit and go like this all over the eyes and stuff because uh, if you do that, uh, of course it's going to smear. But like to do like what I just did, you know, it's not a, it's, you'll be fine. And if you want me to do a printout on my computer with printer paper and show you the difference between that and cards, like I have videos about it, but uh, I'm getting a lot of requests about my clay and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to be um, how do I say? I need to make more clay videos is essentially what I said. I have so many thousands and thousands of requests and um, a lot of new people. So, you know, going back in all my videos, I know people write me all the time. Like it's such a pain in the ass to do. Even though if you go, if you click my name underneath here and you uh, go to my front main page on YouTube, you'll see there's like polymer clay. It's in its own group. And I do have videos there. I think my one video has like 43 thousand views on it um because i was going to redo a few of them um however i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do all right so i got her eye there i don't know what the hell i did here with this is gonna be her pupil so All right. 
So that's going to be black. Let me find my black. Where's my black? But I have uh, tomorrow. I'm probably not going to be around all day. I don't think my husband has to go in for a uh, spinal um, thing. Spinal epidural. I don't know what the hell it's called. Anyway, it's a, it has to be done to his spine, his upper spine. His spine and neck. And he goes under and it's going to be a very long day. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a video tomorrow. But I am going to probably make the... Um, make the... Uh, I can't think today. I got so much on my mind. Um, I'm probably going to make... Ah, there's my dogs barking. Now, I have some black left on here. So I'm going to make her hair black, I think. No, you don't have to. You can make a blonde. You can make a pink. Maybe we'll make a pink to match her lips. <gasps> Maybe we'll do that. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um... Okay, so we kind of got that going. You see where we're at? Now, here's what I like to do. You don't have to do this. Now, I love this Energel liquid ink pen from Pentel. I love it. Um, I actually I have so many giveaways sitting here that I'm going to be doing soon. I promise. As soon as we get over this hump of hell. Now, something that I did not get to um, say. I'm so sorry about my dog. Um, something I did not get to tell you guys because I just really found out a day or so ago. I got my blood work back. Um, so I won't be starting dialysis in October. I still have to go to him. We still have to manage. Um, but I'm kind of like, I leveled out at where I'm at. I went up like two points. I'm still um, stage four chronic kidney disease, you know, kidney failure. But I'm holding steady at where I'm at right this second, which is so good because we thought that I'd be starting dialysis in October. So right now I go see him in October, so I'll know more, but that was a relief. I got the test back Friday. I think he called me, um, which was such a relief because, um, I was so scared that that was going to have to start. I have a lot of other things going on instead of, uh, besides that, that was just one of the things on my pile of shit that's happening. Um, but I have a lot going on with my husband as well and my daughter. I don't know what the hell happened. I, I always say, you, you think losing your kid, you know, I lost my son. You think that that would be like the, the top of the mountain. You know what I mean? Like that's it. Like there's nothing but smooth sailing. Like that is like the worst it could possibly get. And then life happens and <laughs> you're shown <laughs> that you're not safe. That shit just keeps piling up. So um, now I'm just going to use that same color, the fuchsia from folk art. Um, but I didn't get to get on here to let you guys know. Um, cause I, I, that's another thing. I get so many beautiful emails from people of, you know, telling me how I've inspired them to do this, that, the other, and to, you know, sending me their blessings or prayers or good thoughts or whatever about my kidneys. And, um, I've been really upset, like thinking, you know, shit, you know, I gotta, um, start dialysis in October and everything. So, the fact that, like I said, it's not, I'm not out of the woods, but it's not going to start in October. I'll know more when I go, but, um, I've changed. If only the medicine would let me lose weight. That's, that's the one thing I can't stand. Um, but I've had to change a lot of what I've been eating. Like I got to watch protein and, uh, and I'm diabetic. So the fruits I have to, it, it's, it's crazy. But I'm trying. So apparently it was enough to at least, plus he changed a medicine of mine. Um, but it was enough to uh, hold off. So that's good. I won't have to think about that till the beginning of the year now. So hopefully, which I'll go in October and he'll say, well, all right. So you see, we're just kind of doing a basic, do whatever kind, make it hug the neck because our hair does that. And then I'll go back and add texture in it in a bit. I'm gonna wet my brush just a little bit so it's a little bit more flowy. I'm 
but yeah, so I, I just hope I can get through the holidays without having to start that because I already have to start my IV for my RA. So, and then everything going on with my husband and my daughter. We all just keep, keep on keeping on because you don't have much of a choice in life, do you? But we all got shit that we deal with, so. And I'm more concerned about my husband and daughter than I am me. I could be fine. Okay. So we're just going to leave that. And you can see the underneath coming through, and it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a second run over her lips. Trying to brush off. So I'm just glad, I'm just glad that that's one less thing I have to worry about, at least for now. Just can make it through the rest of the year here with not having to do dialysis. I will be thrilled, but that goes up and down too, depending on my blood. So, like I said, who the hell knows? That's my life. At least I'm alive. All right, so that's kind of where we're at. Now we got her, her pupils, and you got her, and now you can go in and do lines in here and make her eyes a little bit darker, uh, you know, a darker green to make them more, how do you say, uh, you know, a little more texturized looking. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of my face paint that we just used, the Santa's flush, and I'm going to go clean up. Now it doesn't matter too much because, you know, we got this the colors coming through and all that, but I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush like that. And I'm just going to go clean up these edges a little bit. I'm just running under. Where I might have, you know, went a little, a little wild. I'm just cleaning up a little bit of it. Don't even have to if you don't want. I'm going to go a little bit under the neck. All right. This needs. A little bit more. But yeah, so I'm, I was very thankful because when, when the my husband's phone rang and it was we saw it was the doctor, we were like, oh no. But like I said, I go in October and we have to discuss other things, but I was like, oh, that's good. At least my numbers went up. I'm not as low as I, a low four as I was. And uh, I'm very glad. I might have to live on that boost that I drink all the time for the rest of my life, but hey. Okay, that's about it. I'm not gonna fuss too more, too much more. And you see, that's just basically how you, you paint it. Now, I take some white. And you can make these eyes as, as big and or small as you want. It, it doesn't matter. This is just so you guys can really see it better on the, 
on the, uh, you know, camera. What I'm going to do instead of taking white paint, which you can very well take white paint. I'm too lazy to look for my white paint right now. So what I'm going to do is take <clears throat> a watercolor crayon. Uh, Reeves have them. Uh, this is a uh, Neo Color 2. There's, I mean, you can get them and uh, all these brands that make them. Now, I'm just going to color it in. And these are water soluble. But depending, I might not even water them down. I just might make, make, leave them like that. See how it just makes it pop a little bit compared this one compared to that. If you have a white crayon, use that. If you have uh, white paint, use that. Use whatever. If you're using watercolor, use your watercolor. It doesn't matter. Just to make it pop a little bit more. And you see how different it looks? It just makes it pop. Makes it a little bit, you know. And you can still see some of the colors coming up. If you want to liquefy it, you just take your wet brush and you just kind of dab it on. You know, and use it as the paint. Doesn't matter. And then what I like to do. Let me shut that up. Oh, you know what else I could do? Wait a minute. Let me take some purple. Let's see if this will. I'm going to color this in and give her some, just some purple lines in her hair. Doesn't have, you don't have to, just to make it look a little separate in it. And you don't have to wet it if you don't want. Doesn't matter. It's your picture. I'll just go over it like that. And the purple will pick up the background purple a little bit. I'll just wet my brush a little bit and I'm going to go in the like that and just run my brush over it. If you don't like it so harsh, it doesn't bother me. It's all what you want. You don't even have to do this. You can use black if you want. Use whatever you want. This will just soften it a little bit. And you can see over here, I, I drew outside the line a little bit. So I'm just going to wet it, see how much I'm wetting it. And I'll take my paper towel and I'm just going to wipe it and it comes right off. So no harm, no foul. And that's about it. So you have your face, you have your, you know, kind of thing going on. You want to do eyelashes, do eyelashes. You can use, you know, this is, like I said, my favorite pen. You can just do a few. I'm not an eyelash girl, but just kind of go in like that. No big deal. You can go in all the way up, all the way down, whatever. You know, and then bring a few when we're in here. And if you don't like it, then you just paint over it. It's not going to hurt nothing. You know? And then, these are great. I think I told you guys about these before. The Bic Whiteouts. They're pens. And to shake it up. I think mine's about dead. Because I use it so much. Yeah, I'm not going to use it for that. But... You can use it for the for white when you need white. I need to find me my white. I'm gonna have to look for my white now. I'll use this is this white. Uh, it's antique white. It'll do. And this will just give. Let me just take a little brush. Just gonna put a little bit on the tip like that. Just give her a little dab, make her eyes a little, have a little reflection to them. And they come alive. 
Then I can go in down here. And it's just using that antique white. It's a little lighter than uh now this has a rogue a rogue brush. A rogue uh I hate when that happens. Look at that one little bristle sitting there. It's rogue. It's not gonna uh, did I pull it off? Probably now it's sticking out like that. Oh my god. Alright. Just stay there, you little you little rogue. Okay. So then we have that, and then all I'm going to do is go in with my pen. You can use a marker, you can use black paint, whatever you have. And I'm going to kind of give her sometimes I love to outline whatever I draw. I don't know why. But I'm, I outlined her lips. And uh, I'm going to do those. Make sure that it's all. These are great because they write over the acrylic paint as well. And like I said, that's basically it. Then you can do, if you want to do her a shoulder, you know, like a sh shoulder thing where you draw out, you can do that. You can do a nice saying under here. You can do whatever you want. But this is basically the easiest folk art piece. Very, you know easy very easy very easy i mean you know 36 minutes it took me to sit and talk about a few things and paint a few things and like i said you can see the underneath that i have coming up and there's nothing wrong with that you know and then you put a nice quote or if you have some stamps or you have stencils or whatever you can go around and really you know stickers whatever and add a little bit more embellishments and you're done so that's how easy it is just to do a quick fast face, nothing fancy. I know a lot of you that have written me said how much you guys love the flat eye, the straight eyes, rather than doing the oval or the almond shape eyes. And it is a lot easier. Um, but, you know, it's all in what you like. Um, I think it's easier to draw like this as well. You know, why Why make yourself miserable or whatever, trying to, you know, the, after you get this down pat, then you move on to play. Then you go on and the next one, you know, you know that you'll do the, make it more of an almond shape. But for now, who cares? You drew, you drew a face. So easy. So don't forget to send me your artwork when you do this. Tag me in the group, All Things Creative. It's my group. It's awesome. There's awesome people, awesome art, awesome videos. Uh, so much stuff over there. We have a new... Uh, uh, art journal page that we're doing this week and um, it's a lot of fun over there so you can just friend me on Facebook and uh, just let me know that you want to be added to the to the group it is so much fun and the people there are absolutely so inspirational and so awesome and there's no drama and it's just fantastic love it and I think that's it I think that's it for our little face. And then don't forget, like I said, for everybody who's, I know a lot of you are nervous and scared. I have this. And this is exactly how she looks when you go onto my website. You just click it to make it big. And then you right click and save. And print it out and play. Print it out and play. And paint on it. And color on it. And use crayons on it. And markers. And whatever you have. Um, and just have a blast. Like I said, sit and draw. Just keep drawing. Um, when, when you print it out, take pencil and scribble on the back of your paper. And then set it down on whatever you want to draw it on. And then just trace over it. So you're getting the idea of, you know, how the feeling of it and how everything goes. So, and you can see they're the same premise of a face, but they're different. They look different, the faces. It depends on how long you, you know, how pointy you want the chin to be, how round you want the face to be. It doesn't matter. You can play around and make it your own in so many different ways. So that's that. Um, I think in a bit I'll make the video that I want to make for the sprays and everything to show you guys how to do sprays and make your own sprays and do that kind of thing for all you beginners out there who don't either. I know a lot of you don't know if you're going to enjoy mixed media and I know a lot of you don't have the money to go out and start buying all the mixed media stuff. So 
we're going to get to that and I'm going to give you a few tips and that kind of thing of what I like to use uh, still to this day that I've been using for years um, that works and um, yeah that's about it so I, I'm hoping to get a clay video done this week and if I can just get through tomorrow and it be Tuesday already I would be so excited so I hope this helps you guys please tag me on Facebook, hit me up on the Google, whatever, email me, send me all your pictures that you guys have done, any questions that y'all have. I love them. I love getting them. I love answering them. Um, I'm going to answer a few questions in my next video that I got. And I think that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know that you guys loved the first part of this. So I hope that this lives up to its expectations. I, uh, yeah, that's about it. Like I said, I can go on and finish this page and all that kind of thing. But right now, just want to concentrate on the face. And like I said, you can go on from here with stencils or stamps or drawings or flowers or, you know, tissue paper, all kinds of fun stuff. So as always, be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And, um, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And let me know down in the comments anything else that you guys want to see. Or email me, whatever way you feel comfortable. I know a lot of you don't like um, writing uh, comments and whatnot uh, publicly. So you guys write me privately, which is completely fine. I don't care. Either way. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I love you all. And I thank you all. And I hope you all have a great Sunday. Bye, guys.